suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in all the media, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but the time and effort, whatever it is, I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time. Yes, we get the point you in a little squirt. So it looks like you, but in colour. Damn, romantic sounds. Well, that should make her easy to spot in this place. I'll just stare at this sink. There is definitely not a tone of jealousy in my voice. Everything being uh, getting me into trouble with the city guard and nothing else. Be difficult, depends. Okay, so fortunately, for reasons I'm admittedly unsure of, the fated hour is no longer 3 30. I've no idea why. Uh, basically, you know, you need more than half an hour here, so much of that is just taken up in cutscenes. So, anyway, met some very interesting characters there. And I'm sure you're all hard at work trying to figure out the various parallels you've been presented with. A lot of clues in that scene. But for now, let's return to more practical matters. The thing to do here is to get back to the square if I can do. Let's talk to this random 1500s person. has had remarkably few changes in layout. Now over here we see an item marked with a blue pulse. We have in fact seen that once before right at the start of the game when you were able to pick up the digivice. Here you are able to pick up the ladder. Exactly how Ike apparently just stuffs that into his jean pocket I'm not sure. Various buildings about I don't believe you can get into any of them they're all closed up. And I think we need to get down there later, but I need to go to the square. Now, right, here we go. You will notice the tree uh, that proved so fatal for us um, now 30 seconds ago is not here in this time. It has not yet been grown, but there is this bloke here, and he does appear to be planting a seed, doesn't he?
So yeah, you've guessed it. The best solution Ike can come up with when confronted with a man lurking behind a tree is rather than go stand somewhere nowhere near the tree, uh, is travel, what what was it, 421 years back in time to plant to prevent the tree ever being planted. Gay kind of thorough there. Unfortunately, he won't let us get rid of the seedling. Now, the logical thing to do here, surely, is to set the damn thing on fire. However... What the? Stop it. While the man is clearly terrified of our newfound power and will comply with any requests, we're not allowed to actually press our demands and have to get round this another way. As he says, the squire, the lord of the manor, has the right to interrupt his work. So if we just take a glance at the map. Right, we need to be uh, down this way. Or have I gone the wrong way? Yes, I've gone the wrong way. Opposite direction. Yep, we need to get to the lord's manor. <coughs> Is it, excuse me, I have a slight cough. So we go this way. Of course, we can't just stroll into the Lord's Manor, but we can talk to annoying youth here. The Squire's Manor is beyond that gate. The Squire's Crest. Come to think of it, the seal on the Manor House is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. For some reason, they have a really upper-class British accent, despite living in a town called Lebensbaum. have we got to trade? We've got a lighter, bad idea, future technology, time paradoxes and all that, mobile phone, ditto, digivice, no 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 no, a uh, couple of maps, wouldn't be much use to him, a ladder, which we've probably figured out we actually need to get the seal, they wouldn't want it anyway, a journal, which obviously is basically just a gameplay item, that just leaves a postcard with a city view, which Turns out to be the correct answer, I believe. So again, surely that should have huge temporal implications, given that we've given him an item from the future, containing a view of the city from the future. One might expect it to be a plot point expanded on later in the game, but as far as I know it isn't, unfortunately. This part of the game can be a lot more frustrating if you haven't played it before. Even then, I kind of forgot that we had to get the ladder. It's only because we stumbled on the ladder that I remembered. So we use the ladder here to get the squire's crest, and from there, you, from there on out, Bob's your auntie's living lover. But you know, you can just have to stumble across the ladder, and you're giving the guy the postcard is also kind of a bit of process of elimination. Still, this this area has a particularly creepy feel to it and it's particularly affected the first time you play through the game and you know suddenly you know in chapter one you're only in the prologue and chapter one you're only traveling half an hour maybe an hour back in time and suddenly to be let to be propelled 421 years back the effect is suitably jarring i think um but the puzzles in this bit can be a bit frustrating anyway we've got the squire's crest now so we return to uh, bob here and uh, Got the squares crest somewhere, haven't I? Or is it not an inventory item? I think maybe I just have to talk to him. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, talk. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right. Looks like maybe it is new inventory. Isn't it? I did. I did get the crest, didn't I? Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. No, I don't think I did get the crest. I was just too busy babbling away to you, to you lot. Sorry about that. I obviously just went went in there, used the ladder in the wrong place, assumed I'd got the right event without really watching, and uh, didn't actually get the crest. Now, now I have to use the ladder somewhere. Uh, maybe here. No, because he just takes it. He just takes it out of his pocket in a skippable cutscene. 
It's the indication that you're not using the item properly. I don't think there's any way to get into a first person camera view, so I'm not even actually 100% sure where the seal is. Oh, right, I just have to use it in a sort of general courtyard area. There we go, got the crest. The good thing this place is guard is. Shit, otherwise, you know, we'd have been caught and executed for doing that. We've lost a ladder now, by the way. It's not like we ever need it again. Solves the logistical problem of carrying the damn thing around. So now we proceed back to Bob. And brandish a medallion at him. Ahem, I said brandish a medallion at him. Thank you. Here we get a choice between flowers and a statue. A seemingly innocuous choice. You have no particular criterion for choosing at this point, but I'm sure it has quite significant ramifications on the game's plot. Oh, let's be military and have a statue. Okay, so we've dealt with the underlying problem of Ike's death, but we have, of course, left a huge temple distortion in our wake. And the mysterious mineral MacGuffin that Love Interest character had on her is still with her. Do note it, they do not believe it ever changed hands to Ike. Well, that's back in the past. Meanwhile, we return to the present. Meanwhile, I'll talk to myself. And I'm a fag. Okay, or not. I don't want to die. And with no tree to hide behind, chapter two is completed and the murderer gives up again. So you'll notice the chapters are become, becoming a bit longer now, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching and I hope you continue, I hope you're continuing to enjoy this.